Hey boys, it's time the infamous here and welcome back to my channel. I am so excited for today because we are playing in the Per X Barbie makeup collection round two. I got the entire collection. I got this as soon as it dropped about a month ago, but I've just had all my videos lined up. So now we are finally to this one. Girl, today we are doing Barbie, but make it fall. full coverage today. I am not playing any games today, you guys. I am going in full coverage. I'm going to be showing you guys some products I've been dying to show you. I'm trying to go for editorial Barbie today. Oh my gosh. And make sure you guys thumbs up this video, subscribe to my channel because we are going to be doing a giveaway. Actually, I'm going to be giving away this Barbie lipstick for you guys you push it and it pops right open the red one perfect for kind of holiday season and you guys it did hit the top of the compact so it got just a little bit smushed right there but not swatched or anything so you guys are gonna win this and a box of mystery makeup all you have to do is thumbs up this video subscribe to my channel and leave a comment down below tell me if you guys used to have a Barbie collection or if you collected Barbies I'm just gonna go in with the precisely my brow by benefit then leave your email so that I can contact you guys if you are the winner. Not mind my nails. I will be putting on my press-ons after this. With the Benefit Brow Contour Pro in the color brown medium and then at the top, you know, it's like a little pin where like you can push down and everything. I'm gonna be using what's called the deeper shade, which is the deeper brown. Eyeshadow palette. This is what all the packaging looks like. I think it's super cute. Some of the collection is pink and red. Some is pink and gold. I do like the pink and gold a lot better. What I actually love about this palette is that there's a ton of super wearable and fall colors. This one right here is gorgeous. This is actually in the color Barbie style. And look at that. Oh, wow very velvety and thick dark one here I've been really oh look at that beautiful even this like orangey color oh love that now the only thing is that they don't have a highlight color because I don't want to do a matte highlight to really have this real highlighter look at that Ooh, I don't even want to touch it it's like a, ooh, that is a rose gold. It's very, very thick. I'm gonna go ahead and go into that yellow. And I'm still gonna go into this Marvin Magnificent color here in Self Made. This is actually a highlight, but just to brighten that just a little. Now on the inner corner, I'm just going to take this light color here, Barista Kin, put this right here under the inside of the brow. And this has a really good light tan color. I want our contour to just flow effortlessly into there. And go into this gorgeous color called Barbie Style. Continuous setting spray. And I'm just going to put this, oh wow, all over the lid. I'm gonna go in with the highlight color where the little Barbie girl is. And I'm going to add that to the center. 
And I'm just going to see how it is with a little bit of the yellow. This is in the color Career Doll. And I'm just going to start in the inner corner. Because I want to get this nice and defined. I'm going to go ahead and take Imagination. I'm actually going to kind of blend this brown a little bit just in case imagination say is a little sketchy or like it's skipping at all that brown color will kind of smooth that area just a little so i'm going to go back into my first one. Ooh, actually first go into this color this is dream doll mix that with this color here here called lifestyle there we go yeah, before we get super dark, we're going to kind of mix those two first. Make sure you guys like this video if you're enjoying and subscribe to my channel. Next week's video, oh, you guys are going to love it. And now we're going to go in with that dark color. I'm going to kind of close my eyes and just kind of stay low here. And then, actually, we're not going to go ahead and like bring it all out right now. I'm going to actually wait until our foundation is on because I want this to be very precise and we have to put it over our foundation here. So now I'm actually going to take Pink Bronze by MAC and pop this on the inner corner. <laughs> Gonna go back and work on the lid with our original color and for some reason like it's kind of not there we go okay it's better to use your finger with this one so you see here at the end you want to make sure that we are packing this on all the way to the very deep outside and kind of cutting that dark color before I move on, I'm just making sure this pink bronze by MAC is just perfectly packed on. Sharpen it here on the outside. For the P. Louise base, I'm going to use a little pencil brush. Okay, and we're just going to follow the same exact colors. going to do my lip plumper a little different today. I'm going to only put it in the center of my lips. I'm trying to get a more kind of cartoon looking effect. So now I have you zoomed out. My lip plumper is just where I want it. It is plumping just in the center and I accidentally got a little bit on my face so it will turn your face red. So oh and do not kiss your boyfriend with this. So before we're able to finish off our eyes, we have to do our foundation. So I'm just gonna move right into that. I have been dying to show this product to you guys and share it with you. It is one of my new Holy Grail products, the Hollywood Flawless Filter from Charlotte Tilbury. The reason I even went for this was because I went back to the Huda Beauty Faux Filter Foundation. This is in the color 320G Trace Leches. Amaretto is a little light and this is a little dark. So I wanted to do a brightener underneath to help with that. It looks like this. It is, this is in the color three, light slash medium. Now I did have number two and it was beautiful. It was flawless. It gave me everything I was looking for, but there is a defect on that light color it separates so you want to get at least number three i go ahead and i put it on the back of my hand like that and oh also have this barbie brush that we're going to be trying but it is really big so i'm not going to use that for this step i have been loving this color nor s13 brush thank you guys for sending this to me i just hit it with a little bit of my fix plus and you want to do that so that your brush does not absorb all your product. 
there's a closer look you can see this product is amazing because it is just like a Hollywood blur filter type of thing it illuminates it makes you look like you're just standing under beautiful studio lights it's very lightweight and the cool thing about this is that it is tinted so it does have a little bit of coverage in there as far as foundation now of course I'm using this just solely as an illuminator but you guys This is like nothing I have ever seen before. Everyone who has tried this literally raves about it. And they have deeper shades as well. So look at that. It covered up some of my redness. Of course, this is not a foundation, but look how my skin is just glowing. Um, With the Huda Beauty, it is very, very, very matte finish. So I wanted an illuminator underneath there. So I'm just going to go in and dot this and I have not used this in a long time. The reason I believe that I stopped using this was because I think it was breaking me out, but I'm not sure I can't remember. So I'm hoping that this works because I was looking back at some photos when I was wearing this and I was like, oh my gosh, look at that. What you want to do is contour before you do your under eye concealer to give the foundation a little time to set and kind of harden up. My MAC Pro Conceal and Correct Palette in Medium Deep here and I think I'm going to use NW43. And this is just because, like I said, I want this to be super high coverage. I'm just going to see how this does. Now this product is going to be, a, obviously it's a cream, but it's going to be a little more stiff than um, a contour kit because obviously contour kits are designed to contour. But this is good because this is full, full coverage. For my nose, I'm gonna actually do this color here, which is NW40. I'm just going to begin blending out. That is beautiful. Next, I'm going into my Fenty Beauty Concealer. This is in the number 180. with my shape tape in 205 light sand and unfortunately this color is way too light or I would just use this but I just purchased a new one so it should be here soon now I'm just quickly going into my Fenty powder I mix banana and butter together. I'm going to fix plus my sponge to give this powder some moisture. I'm going to dip my sponge into there and then just pre-blot it. That's going to make sure it's like, it's kind of like sifting. You know, when you bake, making sure it's just really nice and smooth. <music> My MAC Studio Fix Powder in C4. You guys know I'm C5 now, but because my foundation's a little darker, I am gonna go in with my lighter powder to kind of balance it out. While I just kind of let that sit and dry fully down, I'm just gonna go back into my eyes and my eyebrows. I think I'm just going to like just chill and do this part. You guys have already seen the colors and everything and yeah, let's do it. If 
I take it down, would you really hold me down and be your best friend? She just wanna hit me with a quickie by the pool and I'm like, yes, ma'am. When you got me feeling for your body, you might turn me to a yes, man. Oh, yeah. 80 and a 40, I'm a nervous bitch, I'm flyer than your ex, man. We ain't gotta go. Hey, ain't the first to really sell that shit Champagne with the roof gun Bump this jam back in Tucson Think I got to get a move on Never had much to lose But you could do better with me In the middle of the road Or the back of the Jeep So baby, let's not talk about it But I gotta know If I take you down Would you really hold me down And be your best friend? She just wanna hit me With a quickie by the pool And I'm like, yes, ma'am Got me feeling for your body, you might turn me to a yes man. Oh yeah, 80 and a 40, I'm a nervous bitch, I'm flyer than your ex man. Why you act so extra? Let me in your section. Running through my mind, we got a connection. Back home ain't the same, your pops drinking all the time. You just wanna get away, come hop up in my ride. Two goofies on the run, couple 40s in the backseat. Spirits in my lungs, got my it's a little raspy Turn me to a yes man Before we do this girl I got a question If I take you down Would you really hold me down And be your best friend She just wanna hit me With a quickie by the pool And I'm like yes man When you got me feeling for your body You might turn me to a yes man Oh yeah 80 and a 40 I'm a nervous bitch I'm flat in your ex like oh my god ride into your legs like oh my god and let's go on a day like oh my god when i'm back from l.a like oh my god oh my god yeah she still think it's odd yeah i got all these fans she's the only one i want yeah impress me with your mind i might turn you to a mom yeah you might get a pension if you work it for me long yeah it's gonna be a long yeah i don't know how to get like that Recognize my runs and get them fixed like that Booming through my city with my people all around Is you coming with me or you staying on the ground, yeah uh, Yes or no, how'd it go? Where your man? Do you got one on the low? Oh, you do? I don't know Born in 1994, you still a scrub But I still don't think you know this how to love But I gotta know Okay, you guys, so I am all caught up with everything. We are gonna be going into some blush now. This is what the Barbie blush looks like. Isn't that adorable? It looks like this. And I was actually really impressed. This is one of the reasons that I even wanted to get this collection. There were deeper colors in the eyeshadow palette and in the blush palette. Now looking at the look, I think I'm gonna go in with this color here. This is in the color Believe. I'm just gonna take some of that and I have no idea like how, ooh, it's going on my brush really good. Ooh, and that's really pretty. Very pigmented. And I'm just really curious what this color is gonna look like at the end. So I'm gonna add Ooh, that's really pretty. I'm gonna add this. Ooh, that's super cute. Kind of as like a bronzer. Just to like warm up my bronzer here. I'm gonna go in with my number seven translucent perfect light loose powder. This is from the drugstore and I really like this powder. Just kind of blend this all in here just to make sure it's really airbrushed and like flawless. This is what the little lipstick boxes look like. You guys saw the red one, which you're gonna win. Don't forget to enter the giveaway. Subscribe to my channel and thumbs up this video if you're enjoying. On the website, I thought this was gonna be more of a brown undertone. This is in the color Trailblazer and it's this pretty, 
pinky mauvey color. I'm not going to use that one since we're kind of doing a peach vibe. Next week, we're gonna be doing a mauvey vibe. I'm gonna use the KKW lipstick in 90 style. I'm gonna go into my classic Strip Down by MAC. With a little bit of hodgepodge by MAC. Now we're gonna go into the 90 style. And I have not even tried this one yet. It's like the perfect peachy kind of pink. Ooh, and this is like literally perfect. Okay, so I went over to my lipstick collection and I just grabbed this. It's called Mango Mango. It is their matte retro lipstick. Ooh. Oh my God, this is perfect. Oh, I freaking love that. That's super peachy. I'm gonna go in with the Kylie Powder Blush and X-Rate it. I'm gonna take a little bit of that number seven powder and just perfect right underneath the eye. Okay, so now we are moving on to something that's super exciting and that is the Lit Mist. This is the showstopper of the entire collection. How beautiful is this setting spray? Oh my gosh, look at that. And it's really cool because you just twist this forward and then you just spray. They come in these cute little cases. Look how cool this is. You just click this button here and it just pops up, you guys. Like, look at that. And this pink one is the bomb. So pretty. I'm just gonna put a little bit of the lighter one. Oh, and also the cool thing is that all you do is push it down. And that is it. Our highlighter. And we are gonna go into that yellowy one. That is the finished look. Now we are going to move on to hair. Okay, you guys, so I am back. I actually did my self tanner, which over here, it's kind of, that line won't come out. We are gonna do our hair now. I'm really excited because I just figured out what my look is going to be. I'm gonna do like these orange feathers. It's gonna be so cute. So that's why I have my tube top on. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna get going on to this hair tutorial. I have not done a hair tutorial in years. And I'm gonna take, oh my gosh, this is the truth, you guys, for hair oil. This is the Rick Ross Beard Oil. You are sleeping on this. This has like helped my hair grow. It's nice and thick. You guys know I used to do the Moroccan oil and it just was not heavy enough. And then my boyfriend obviously got this for his beard and he uses this on his hair and his beard. And I was out of mine and I use this and my hair loves it. So the first thing I'm going to do, going through and pressing my hair. So I'm just gonna start with the edges. And I'm using my little Chi X Barbie flat iron. And believe it or not, you guys, I am getting some gray hairs. There's a little patch over here. You guys probably saw that in the last video. I just think that with everything that my body's been going through health wise, it puts a lot of stress on your body. So I feel like that's why I'm getting those gray hairs. Since my implants are out now and I'm healthy, I was like, okay, I'm gonna pluck them. And then if they come back, then I'll just leave them. And sure enough, they came back. So um, I'm just gonna leave them. And they don't bother me at all. I am 31 and proud, so. And I have been through a lot and I am not ashamed about it. Oh, and also too, I learned that hair dye causes cancer, disrupts your hormones and thyroid. It's super bad for you. 
the ammonia. Maybe I'll spray something natural on there or do a natural rinse, but if not. So now what I'm doing is I'm just going through, taking big sections, pressing it so that when it goes up into the bun, it, you know, looks kind of silky. And it is time for me to wash my hair. Let me know if you guys want to see a natural hair care routine and the products I use. So it is getting a little like nappy. And I will have this oil, I'll have the spray tan I use, everything linked below. Okay, then I'm just gonna start putting this into a high, high ponytail. And I still use the paddle brush. And if you feel any rough parts, then just kind of part it and press it real quick. I'm gonna go ahead and take the good old fashioned protein styling gel by African Essence. You can get this at any of your local beauty supplies. Now, of course, I'm only doing this because I'm about to wash my hair. My hair is natural, I don't have a relaxer, so I have to work fast with this before it like starts curling my hair up. And I'm gonna take this little mini skinny brush. Okay, now the thing with this is that you have to put it really, really, really high like towards your forehead. This kind of comes all the way over to the side, I remember now. I have not done this hairstyle in like 11 years, you guys. And then you just push this over to the side like so. There we go. Actually, before you put it in a ponytail, you wanna kinda go like this. So like that you have some baby hairs to work with. Or else they'll be too tight into the ponytail and you won't be able to get it out. We're gonna go ahead and take our edge control and you wanna take your hair toothbrush. This is what mine looks like, pink. It's a kid's toothbrush. Then we're just gonna start swooping our little baby hairs. And actually, I wonder how, if I should do like this since it's coming this way. I've never done them backwards, you guys. Yeah, because it kind of can't go that way. Should have got more out. Because, like, you're just... If it's too tight and you didn't pull any out, then... You kind of can't grab any. Flatten our ponytail to just try to make it as thin as possible since it's going to be like going underneath our fake hair. Twist it really, really tight. And don't forget to thumbs up this video, you guys, and subscribe to my channel. Again, since I am about to wash my hair, I'm going to take some of the um, edge control and I'm just going to kind of smooth it onto this twist. That'll help hold it a little. Then I'm just going to loop this around. Okay, and then I'm just going to take a bobby pin. So now we're going to take our fake hair. And when I did it back in the day, I can't remember how many packs of hair I did. Well, this is what it looks like. A kinky, kind of kinky smooth texture. And I'm just gonna like open this up. And you guys, guess what? Come to find out this synthetic hair like has cancer causing chemicals as well. I am like, oh my gosh. So like when you're getting your braids and stuff. And is it just me, you guys? Or did these used to be bigger? What I'm doing is I opened all three up. Oh, and by the way, this is dark brown, which is like literally my perfect match. They have a ton of colors. They even had one that went from like a brown to a blonde. I was kind of thinking about that. And I'm just going to put all three of them together. I'm going to leave a little bit out. I really cannot remember how I did this, you guys. I'm trying to like remember. But now we have all the thick hair. Okay, yep. 
I remember. So I put it around like this. Actually, I need my bun to come up a little higher. I forget that it rested on my bun and actually some of my bun is gonna be showing like this. I forgot about that. I'm gonna hold it like this, stretch it open and bring it around and bring one piece through. So now, you know, it kind of stretches like that. You would be able to hold it. So you see this part right here? That's where your bobby pin is gonna go. I'm kind of like remembering this as I go. Bobby pin's here at the top, pulling on that, because if the bobby pin wasn't here, this would slip out because it's not tied. You guys, y'all know me, I used to be crafty back in the day, boy. And put this in the back here. So just slide this on through. Okay, I just push that right on through. Now we just start braiding. I'm gonna break off one side over here, one side in the middle, and then one side over here. And then I'm just gonna start twisting it and braiding it really. And I think I did the braid really soft, like not tight at all. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe this is working. I cannot believe I remember exactly how I did it. You're gonna have strands coming loose. That's okay, I'm just gonna snip as I go. Oh my, <gasps> I look just like back then. 31 where you guys okay well one of the pieces are kind of coming to an end so what I'm gonna do now is I really wish I had the black rubber bands I have the clear and then right there just make sure actually let me go ahead and open this up yep that's secured and you can make this as thick as you want but yep, I think I'm good here. And then I'm just gonna secure it right here. This is too cute. We're gonna cut it right here. I'm just taking this, you can take any part of it. We're not even gonna use this entire thing on this part. But you just kind of cover it and then just wrap it. For the sake of this just being for a photo shoot, I'm gonna take my rubber bands again and I'm just gonna tie this in the back. And there you have it, you guys. You have your chunky, high fashion, ghetto, fabulous, Rapunzel braid. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I am getting all of the old school time, the infamous vibes. Oh, and then I have my boa here. This is what I'm gonna be using for my photo shoot. I will link that below as well. What I always do after I do like my baby hairs or anything, definitely wanna go back in with your bronzer. So I'm just gonna take this and then you just kind of dot it. You can even do right behind your ear too so it doesn't look so white. And you just want to do really gently. I'm going to use the Nicole Guerrero Anastasia Beverly Hills highlight palette for my chest. And then once I go to the bathroom, I will put this down my legs to make it really shiny. Oh, and I'm using Glow Getter here. This was so much fun. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Oh, and make sure you go to my Instagram to see how the pictures came out. So you guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for everything. And until next time, I'll see you later.